Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an HTTP request uh, in Java and uh, read the JSON response. So I'm going to uh, show you a sim simple program and a simple uh, JSON response, which is uh, getting from a third party website and how to read that JSON response uh, with our Java program. Here we go. So we are going to test uh, the URL request. So we have to find some uh, website or web service which is uh, giving us a, a JSON response. So I have uh, find out a website. Uh, the website name is uh, fixer.io. We can uh, just uh, go into this site and check this. Uh, this is actually a site which is uh, giving the current rate of uh, the currencies from this link. So if I'm clicking this one, you can see here so it will give today's rate according to the base uh, euro currency euro so let's try it uh, is it genuine or not so uh, it's saying like one euro it basis euro and uh, one euro is 77 INR let's uh, try it uh, convert euro to INR and uh, let's see what is the rate coming it's the rate is coming 77.25 let's see here INR is uh, 77.069 yeah it's uh, almost uh, same I mean there will be some difference according to the side which they are providing okay so it's based on euro so if I'm just copying this link and uh, coming to the URL and if I'm placing this one it is it is going to give me uh, a response a JSON response okay the same JSON response here okay so we are going to read this uh, JSON response in Java okay now let's uh, come back to the eclipse uh, have my eclipse installed my pc if you don't have please go to the description i have given a, a link there to download the eclipse i'm going to give a new uh, java project the name is uh, test test uh, uh, url request i'm just creating a new java project and inside this i'm going to create a small package uh, url request again and inside this I am just giving a class test URL request okay so we are all set to write the course here so inside this I am going to create a main method to call directly that now I am going to copy paste the code uh, to read uh, to get the HTML request I have already written that I'll explain how this works yes I have just pasted uh, the code for that well, you can see here the string URL is here and we have to import all these from the default uh, Java IO packages so I'm just importing this from there and this is directly from java.net and uh, this is also from uh, java.io and here again yes so the Mahabe yeah we didn't get give the try catch block should give the try catch block because they may have exception and we should write a code to handle that exception so i'm just printing if any exception is here now let me uh, copy the link here so this is the link come back here and copying the link here in the string url now if i'm running this one it should give me the response what happened yeah we have commented that small string here so if I'm just running it again you can see here all these one all the responses came here so uh, the response we got but uh, this is as uh, JSON we have to pass the process of passing uh, this string value I mean this is actually string we have to convert this string to a JSON and we can have uh, the JSON format uh, to get the values okay so actually the JSON is a third party thing we have will have to import uh, the JSON jar for that so I'll give that in the description the jar of uh, the JSON so in the uh, reference library we don't have the jar of the JSON so let me import uh, that uh, from the build path so here just uh, click on add external jars and uh, java json jar is uh, he is here i'll give uh, the uh, jar in my description you can download it and in, you should import this in your project okay so import it like this in the java build path and add the reference library uh, java json okay now here you can see here uh, we have to convert this response to uh, a JSON object first. So the code for this that is 
uh, JSON object and it's uh, my response equals new JSON object and inside there we have to put the string value response dot to string okay now what is at actually happening is we are uh, officially converting this response uh, to a JSON object uh, there, there won't be any uh, any difference here if you are uh, printing this one directly here there won't be any any difference let's try running this again here it is there won't be any uh, difference but we have officially converted this string to a JSON object now let's go back to our uh, this one and the response now let me format this one format json online there is, you can uh, format this one online in in a site known as a json editor online just go into that and here just paste it here and just click this one where you can see here the formatted version of your json response the reason why i use this one is because we should pass it according to the type of object which is uh, available in our json response so uh, in in a simple way we can call all these response as an object you can see here the type is an object here but inside that there are uh, some other variables you can call this variables or any data which is uh, in different type of uh, object so if i'm clicking here and just click here this is uh, an auto which means you can uh, read this by any type of uh, reader like yeah get string will work get in will work and uh, get object will work okay so this one also you can see the type is auto but the race here this will be an object type okay you can see here is an object type so i what why i this said this one i'll show you we, we are going to read the base here uh, we can directly read it as uh, wait yes so i'm just going to read at uh, the base and uh, it's like Uh, my response dot get string you can directly call it as string and the name is base you can see it's base okay now if i'm running this you can see here the base has been read as a string value now one more thing is there uh, it is uh, date let me read that one also here it is the date also read it now i'm going to read the rates let's see if i'm going to read the rates it should give me an error you can see here it's a json object is not actually a string so what type of uh, this is actually of type uh, object so we should read it as object only okay now i'm going to create a new response for that so it's like a rates object and uh, it's same way it should read from uh, this one my response uh, dot uh, get object get up get json object uh, and the key is uh, rates and should be converted to string again so to string okay now if i am uh, i can directly print the rates here let's see i want this one the rates and it is the rates object okay now let's run it again here it is so i have uh, read the base as string and the date as string again but the rate as an object you can see here it's an object okay let me expand this one also now go into this one the type is auto which means we can read directly as a string or integer or double so it's a double value actually i'll show you with integer and uh, uh, integer and string i mean integer and uh, double let's see what is the difference there so if i'm just uh, reading this one as a rate subject i mean give a so it's actually a u d so it's like plus rate subject dot get 
int let's see what is the value if I'm trying it as int it's a u d so if I'm reading this one it will be go giving only the int value it is 1 so if I'm reading it as get long it will read no not get long it's get double it's a double value so if I am just reading it as a u d complete here it is I can read all the values okay so it's of uh, uh, it's of a double value so we can read it as w we can or we can all copy paste here okay let's uh, copy these two also and the c a d also now let's try running this one yes we have successfully passed the json object and i have uh, explained how to get the type of object and how to go go inside uh, the json object and read every values in that okay so whatever the values is outside that you can read directly but inside the inside uh, you can see here in uh, this one you can see here uh there is this rate is actually an object like the same which is uh, seeing outside okay so we we should treat these rates as uh, the same one and we should pass according to the same uh, procedure what we have used to pass the base and rates yes that's all for now how to send a json request uh yeah, how to send a HTTP request and you can see here one more option is here if you want to try here the base you can uh, pass parameters also I didn't explain this one you can pass parameters also using the same code just write here the same parameters and if I'm running this one you can it will work here and if I'm copying this one here you can see here the rates are coming so based on the uh, base currency so this is USD and if I'm putting it as euro also I can run that so i have shown you uh, to pass uh, using parameters also if there is two parameters you can uh, give an ambassador here and uh, use the parameters name and just give the whatever it is okay so mostly uh, all the url parameters are parsely like this only just uh, uh, give the parameter name the value ambassador the value and again there is one more and give the ambassador one more and uh, you the uh, parameter name the and the value again okay so that's all for now uh, how to uh, send a http url request with and without parameters if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and i'll uh, share all the source code in my description you can have it and uh, the link for the download in the jar also i'll share there and uh, yeah uh, please uh, like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching